Since Cats and Plus is a dynamic simulator, we need to control our simulated processes in the same method that an actual process would. To that end, we often use PID controllers in our simulation to control the level in a tank or the flow through a valve. However, we need a method to tune these simulated controllers, just like you would need to tune controllers in an actual process. Hello, my name is Nelly and I work for Aurel Systems. I'll show you a couple of quick examples of how to tune your controllers using the Cats and Plus Auto Tuner. First, I'll set up a simple simulation example. Here we can see I have a tank with two streams entering and a single stream leaving the tank. One of the streams entering the tank is a fresh water stream and the other is a pulp slurry with 7% consistency or 7% solids. The flow leaving the tank is a set value of 100 liters per second. The slurry stream will be used to maintain the level at 50% while the fresh water stream will be used to maintain a consistency of 5%. First, I'll set up an integrating controller for the level and demonstrate how to tune it. I've drawn a controller as you might see on a PNID. Here we see a level signal from the tank being sent to the PID controller. The PID controller changes the position of the valve, which will in turn increase or decrease the flow of slurry into the tank as the situation requires. Right now, we can see the level in the tank is being poorly controlled because the PID has not been tuned well. To tune this controller, I will select the PID controller Selecting settings, we now see the controller settings parameters box. We have the gain, reset time, and derivative time. We're free to try tuning this manually ourselves, but in Cats and Plus, we have the auto tune feature, which will do a bump test and suggest tuning parameters through the lambda tuning method. To begin this, we will select auto tune. The first step will be to perform a bump test on your model. Cats and will perform two changes to the controller output set by the input fields here. You're free to change these and I'll demonstrate this later. For now, we select Run and we'll see the results of the bump test. The red line shows the controller output, which is the valve position in this case, and the blue line shows the measured variable, or the tank level for this example. We can see that when the valve is opened up more, the tank level increases, which is what we expected. Now we will continue to the next step of our bump test. On the second step, we can see the controller model that Cats and Plus is suggesting. We're using an integrating controller which is expected for tank level. We also see the process gain, time constant, and any observed dead time for this controller. If we're satisfied with these parameters, we move on to the final step, which is final tuning and testing. We can select Run to see the controller performing. Here we see the controller seeking to achieve new set points. The one parameter I want to note here is the lambda value. This is a defined parameter for the lambda tuning method and typically is the closed loop time constant. If you want the controller to act faster or slower than what is suggested by the auto tune, you can adjust this lambda parameter here, provided your bump test identify the process dynamic correctly. To demonstrate this, I can double the lambda value, which will make the controller slower acting. This could be useful if the tank periodically experiences flow surges out from the tank, but we still want a steady flow of pulp into the tank. In this case, I am satisfied with the suggested value. I will select Finish and our controller is ready to operate. As we run the simulation now, we see the tank level is much more stable. We also have a fresh water stream being fed into our tank in order to achieve a consistency leaving the tank by diluting the pulp slurry. I will set up this flow with a shortcut controller to highlight some of the differences between this and the more formally drawn PID controller we set up previously. A shortcut controller will combine multiple elements into a single controller. For this example, our shortcut controller for fresh water flow incorporates the pump, valve, and controller all into one. Right now, we can see that no fresh water is flowing in. To tune this, I will select the shortcut controller here. Notice it is under manual control. I will enter in some flow manually in order to get closer to our desired set point. This will improve the tuning parameters we find during the auto tune, which we'll do now. One key difference from the previous formal PID controller is instead of controller gain, we have a signal ratio and a proportional gain. The signal ratio is the amount that the measured process variable will change per unit of increase in the controller output. We use these for a shortcut controller so that the controller output is immediately scaled for the manipulated variable, in this case the flow of fresh water. 
I'll continue the same process of auto-tuning the controller here by running the bump test. We know this should be a self-regulating controller, that is, the system will settle in to a new set point after a period of time. However, we notice this model appears to be similar to the integrating controller we saw previously. This occurred because the bump test does not have enough time between changes to let the system settle in to a new steady state. To account for this, we can change the duration from 15 minutes to 60 and run the bump test again. Here, we see a self-regulating control response. Again, we can see the shape of our control response model, and on the next page, we can see how the controller reacts. Finally, I'll select finish and go back to our simulation. As our very last step, we have to remember to turn our newly tuned controller onto automatic to get it to actively control the process. This has been a quick demonstration of how you can use your Catson Plus model to find the tuning parameters for your controllers. This is a very helpful method to quickly convert your simulations and can even provide a method to quickly test new tuning parameters of your own in a simulated environment before you implement them in the field.